Paula with Hillbilly Orchids. Welcome back to my channel. That helps a little bit, don't it? Um, I always, I need the light really to, <laughs> to see better, but um, it zooms it in too close uh, and I can't then, you know, you see. But anyways, <laughs> um, I hope everybody's having a fantastic day. I'm having a beautiful day, beautiful day. Um, I've got in some really great plants today, um, from like some just sweet, sweet people. I, I really <laughs> just, um, you know, just love the viewers on my channel. They're just great people. And, um, I, I think the world of them and they are just so kind. Um, you'll see the video, um, probably... Uh, probably, probably air before this one does, um, but this one, this is a big unboxing. Uh, this is, of course, from another, uh, sweet, sweet viewer of mine, um, Anna Vogia, Gia, um, she had, has a YouTube channel, um, she doesn't post too much, which I hope maybe now, since she's feeling a little bit better, I'm hoping that she gets back to posting a little bit, um, she did recently post, uh, Telling, um, I don't know if you remember, uh, she had sent me a box a while back um, of some orchids, and she, she got really sick, and she wasn't able to take care of her plants, and I really felt bad for her, because I myself live with, you know, several, a long list of autoimmune disorders, um, I, um, I know what it's like, so I can definitely, uh, definitely feel for her. I have the deepest empathy and sympathy that anybody could have uh, for people that have autoimmune disorders. Um, like I said, the worst one of mine is the mixed connective tissue where my tendons peel off the bone for no reason. Uh, it's, a, it's a miserable, uh, painful, uh, joint aching type of a, a disease that you just, you just feel kind of yucky a lot. Uh, the weather affects you so bad. Um, then, of course, you know, along with the others, you know, my lupus, it's affected so much by the weather. Um, so it just, I, I do, I have, you know, I have a very deep understanding and, like I said, sympathy and empathy for anybody that, that suffers with any kind of autoimmune disorders. Um, she recently, and she couldn't figure out, like, they, she had a hard time getting diagnosed and that's even harder. Like, it's it's such a struggle because they kind of make you feel like, well, there's nothing wrong with you. You look fine on the outside. That's what gets me. It's like, they're, they're like, you don't look like you hurt like you say you do. And that is so not fair. That is so not fair. I'm like, if you would feel how I do, you would beg. You beg. I'm telling you. It's... It's a miserable, it's a miserable sort that until you get it figured out, um, you know, that if you find a good doctor that's willing to work with you and help you, you know, figure it out, it's tough. It's a tough one to deal with. But anyways, I don't want to get this too long and talk in the discussion about autoimmune disorders, but she recently got diagnosed and uh, so they're helping her and she is starting to feel better now. But she said, I do know my limits. And, um, she said I was feeling, you know, a little more like taking care of my plants and everything, but she said I still needed to thin the herd <laughs> as we all do wind up getting into, um, you know, we pretty orchids, pretty blooms must have. So she sent me two boxes. Um, she said these are the bigger, um, the, these are bigger plants than the ones she sent me last time. Um, but I told her, I said, I, I would gladly help you know if I can't keep them then I you know I can send them off to homes that that can and will um you know that kind of thing so that they don't just you know they don't just get forgotten about and um you know set, sent off to die you know um because she don't want that either you know so Let's see. And she did, bless her heart, she sent them, uh, this, this one's potted. Uh, she really could have sent them probably easier, um, 
uh, bare root. I'm trying to think. Uh, this is a no ID light yellow foul. She did send me some pictures. She said, um, I, I can send you pictures of the ones I had that bloomed, which is awesome. So I do have um, that's a nice foul. She's pretty. Um, I do have bloom pictures of a lot of these. Oops, I broke a root. Um, so we will be able to see, even though they're no ID, I, I do have bloom pics, so I will be able to see. And I'm not going to take the tape off of them just yet. So, but yes, very nice, very nice. She looks very, um, very large. This is a big, um, moth orchid. Very, very pretty. Very pretty. She's had two spikes in the past. But she's a nice, nice size fowl. Beautiful, beautiful. Thank you. <clears throat> Alright. Now, this one. This one she put in a bag. She said this is the Stanhopia Tigrina. It's the bigger chunk. Oh, okay, so maybe there is there two chunks of it. She might have had to break it up. <laughs> I'd say she must have had to break it up. It is uh, Stanhopians are very big, very big. Yes, she must have. She cut it in half, and this is the bigger chunk. Um, little. Uh, Tired from shipping, but that's to be expected. So we can work with that. That's not a big deal at all. Very nice, nice big bulbs. Um, yes, Stanhopias can get really big, really big. And that is uh, Stanhopia tigrina. It's a pretty. Um, Pretty Stanhopia. Alright. Um, I'm going to pause you guys for a minute. Um, stop it and come back because the other box is a bigger box. And I've got to open it. And it will not fit over here. If I did, you would just be looking at a box. <laughs> so hang tight. I'll be right back. This channel is sponsored by the Orchid Supply Store. It is literally your one-stop shop for anything and everything you could possibly need orchid related. And they even sell orchids. Use my name code Hillbilly in the code section for a 12% viewers discount. So go check them out, y'all. All right, we are back. Um, this this box is full. <laughs> uh, this is the uh, Rinko Rinko Stylish Gigantia cartoon. Um, or the Rinko is it Rinko Lalia Rinko Rinko. Rinko, I've never had a, one of these. Rinko Stylus, is it Rinko Stylus? <clears throat> these are Vanda like. So, I'm not sure if she had it potted or not. say maybe because it's got a piece of um, lava rock hooked to it so I'd say real good possibility and it, uh, in my environment it would do better um, potted definitely because um, uh, Vanda types just do 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 a lot better for me potted um, but yep very nice, very nice. Um, she did send me blooms of this one. Everybody needs a little bit of water, I can see so far, but so far, so good. Alright, this is. This one is the Catacetum. This is, uh. Monara, I forget how you say it. Mon yeah, whatever, witchcraft. <laughs> it's the black one. Alright, let's see.
That must have been what she had it all it up in, I'd say. Possibly. And it is growing its new growth. So, let's see. It is just starting these guys. So, I will get her put back in um, media and get her situated and let her get to getting putting down roots because it is their time right now to do that and um no one's really stuck there we go yeah it's their time to be uh so this one's gotten a little disturbed to get get sent out here so we need to get it situated and let her get to getting it again. So there we go. We'll set her back down there for a time being until I can get her taken care of. And get rid of those little old bracks, leaf bracks. This one tag must be inside. There's this blue tape. I love my blue tape. She uses the big, <laughs> the big, I use the little, uh, like quarter inch blue tape. <laughs> I'm all about this. This is orchid blue tape. It's not painter's blue tape. This is orchid blue tape. Us orchid folks know all about that blue tape. <laughs> Oh, okay. I knew she said she was sending me one of these. This is uh, Francine Rose Glow. Very nice. Very nice. Old spikes there. A couple of them. So, all this is brand new growth. And this is a brand new growth here on the other side. Coming up. Awesome. Awesome sauce. Alright. Next. Oh, this one, this is a really nice one. This is beautiful. Um, when she said that she was sending this one, I was like, oh, that's nice. That's awesome. It's so beautiful. Um, this is a summer bloomer fowl. It is um, Yin's Black Eagle. And I've never had one any of the Eagle family. Uh, Michael just got a real pretty, uh, what is it, the Dragon Tree Eagle. And this one, I'd say, is going to have to be potted because it feels like it's not in a pot. That's okay. I can definitely do that. And I would look forward to it. Like I said, I just got in a lot of media from the Orchid Supply Store, my official sponsor. Uh, they have so much great stuff, you guys. Go check them out. Um, they sell anything and everything you could possibly need for orchids. They have an amazing store. Amazing. Um, he has Orchiata Bark. He has Pots. Um, he has uh, even uh, ceramic masks. Pretty pretty ceramic masks that go over them. Um, he sells mounts. He It's anything. Anything you need for orchids, you guys. Anything. So there we go. Yes, uh, this is going to need repot repotted up. And I have everything I need to put her in a pot. So, thanks to Ken at the Orca Supply Store. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Oops, I dropped a tag. This one is a Phalaenopsis. It has uh, no ID foul. It has um, blooms that have, I'd say, are spent now. <laughs> Probably, possibly died in shipping. And that's okay. That's to be expected. That can happen. 
She's a pretty big girl. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Look at that, how pretty. Um, she was a, I'm trying to look and see if, I think she did send me pictures of this one. I'm pretty sure. So I do, I want to look at, you know, I wanted to look at her uh, markings so I could tell. <laughs> so that we didn't uh, get it mixed up whenever I showed you pictures, because I will put pictures up. Yep, she's a no ID foul, and she looks really good. She uh, a little beat up from the trip, but she'll be okay. She'll she'll bounce back. All right, next. <laughs> it's a pretty big unboxing, you guys. Pretty big. one is potted. I'm not sure what it is. Tag must be inside. So we got to open it to see. Oh boy. I hope everybody's having a good day though. I'm having a fantastic day. So far so good. My uh, friends send me beautiful pretties and Makes me forget about everything else going on. <laughs> it's not pretty outside. Not yet. Winter, winter's just fighting to stay here. Winter does not want to let go at all. Ooh, lots of little gravels popping out at me. This is an oncidium type of some kind. Is oh okay. Uh, she sent me pictures of this one. Now I got it out there. I'll never get it back in there. Uh, this little growth. It's got a little bit of uh, uh, wrinkling from sometimes not enough water, and that's okay. That's to be expected. I get that sometimes on my own plants. Me step on some of them gravels till I get them cleaned up. <laughs> I'll be like, ouch, ouch, ouch. Next is, um, okay, this is one of the cat layers. She said she never got to bloom. So I'm going to give it my best shot. This is uh, Hauserman's. Gala X Hauserman's or Hal Hauserman's Gala X crossed with Hauserman's Jade Lakeview. So very cool. Let's see. I'll have to look her up. Um, I wasn't sure. She just told me uh, in in the email that it was a cross, a Hauserman something. So I wasn't sure when I looked it up. It it was kind of vague. So. I was like, well, I can't go by that. I just have to wait till I see the tag and go from there. So, this one's still moist. Baby girth. There it is. <laughs> right there's a little baby growth. Brand new little baby new growth. Alright. We will get her potted up. And like I said, I'll, I'll look up pictures. Um, this one here looks like it was the last new growth. It's a nice new growth. So get her uh, potted up and get her back in 
in motion with herself. I am curious now that I have the tag to know what you know what she actually actually looks like. <clears throat> This is file Summer Love. Uh, definitely this one's going to need potted because I can tell it's not in a pot. Very nice. Very fun. I love potting some of these up. And um, if you want to, want me to, we can do them on video so you can see what I'll do. File Summer Love. I better probably keep this part at least with hers got the name on it I don't see a tag so don't want to forget which one she is but yes this is foul summer love she's bloomed before and I do have pictures of her little dehydration but that's okay that that will all come back out her roots look pretty good so she will she'll do fine and adjust. She feels a little cold considering. I mean, it's a little chilly outside still, but a little colder than I would think. So, get her pot up. That'll be so much fun. Fun, fun, fun. And, yeah, it's so, it's so costly. I don't mind bare root shipping because it's so costly to ship them in a pot. And this was this one will be need potted up too. This is a white no ID foul. Um, you know, bark and medias can be so heavy, and it winds up costing you a lot of money to ship them. Um, I, I'd rather have them um, bare root. I'd rather receive them bare root. Honestly, myself personally, that's just my personal preference, though. Orchid blue tape. <laughs> My pretty blue orchid tape. Funny, we'll call it orchid blue tape, but um, those fake blue fowls you see that's been dyed, um, we don't like those. I seen some at uh, Lowe's and I was just like, oh, you poor babies. When I was at Lowe's the other day, I was like, oh, you poor babies. They'll hopefully survive and then come back out white. And uh, which one did I say this was? I need to see if I can find that <laughs> paper. <laughs> I think, did, did it say? I can't remember now. I might have to go back and look on the video. Um, I, I think maybe it was just no ID foul. Um, yeah, I'll have to go back and look on the video. Which one she was. I think we're up there and lost it in amongst <laughs> all of these. Dang it. A uh, really cute little one though. She is uh, just put out this new leaf here recently. You can tell it's brand new. And uh, yeah, we'll get her potted up and she'll be looking good in no time. Oh, this one. This one's fantastic. I told her, I said, uh, this one wasn't on the list. And I told her, I emailed her back when she sent me pictures of it. And I was like, did you send this one? And she's like, I sure did. I was like, you must have read my mind. Because I have been looking to replace this one in my collection. And I've never found it. And even in my journey um, yesterday, going to Lowe's and stuff, I still never found one. And, um... She doesn't come available all that often, um, but I'm tickled, tickled death to have her back in my collection now. This is awesome. She is a real beaut. Really, really a beaut. And, oops, don't you fly away, my paper. 
she has bloomed before and her roots all look good. Uh, this is Jeho's Pink Girl. Yes, yes, yes. This is um, really, really, uh, really cute, amazing uh, light pink. So, definitely, I had one a long time ago and she, um, something happened, I can't remember, stem rot or something, and I wound up getting, and I sadly lost her. So, where can I set her? I'm not going to lose that tag. Because I, I want to make sure that I know that which one that one is too. All right, next one. Alrighty, I'm not going to open this one, not just yet. Um, we opened the big half. This is the other half of the Stanhopia Tigrina. So um, I know what's in there. So I'm going to wait and do that all together um, so we know what's in that. All right, this is, this is a uh, reddish no ID foul. So I probably need to keep a hold of that piece of the, I've got a label maker, so I should be able to, it'd be nice if I could like print the picture um, and put that on like their end of their tag too even though they're no ID I would still know what they look like you know that would be a really good idea ouch alright nice roots nice nice roots on her um, she's had a old spike here and, yep, a good, cute little file from, uh, not too bad. A little beat up from shipping, but she's okay. All right. Next. This is Dendrobium. Kironda Classic Three Petals. I don't think she told me about that one. Hmm. Okay, that's interesting. So this is a one I don't even know about. <laughs> very cool, very cool. I'll definitely have to look it up. she will need uh, potting up got some good roots in there she's still actually really moist from the trip but yep there's the dendrobium dendrobiums can make quite the comeback too like just because she's only got one little leaf uh, a lot of people don't like dendrobiums because they can be like leafless canes that you know and people were like, oh, that was ugly. There's no leaves to them and such. But, um, yeah, it, it's no big deal. They come back. <clears throat> All right. Here is, uh, this is Prostechia. I am not going to say it, but I'll put up a picture. Um... I think she, this one's one too as well that um, I think she said bloom for her. I, if I don't have pictures, I uh, if the one, if I don't have pictures that she sent, I can find pictures. So nice little. Oh, that's on that little tiny bulb right there. I was like, where is that little leaf coming from? Nice new growth right there. Little growth. Nice growth getting ready to come up there. Yep. Looks good. Looks good. I'll have to make her a tag, though. And I'll have to... So I'll take this to her so I don't lose it. I'm sure I'll probably remember. Because these guys have those round, those round, round bulbs like that. Alright, 
this is a big one and I did not think she would be that big but <laughs> guess what <laughs> this is DTPS Shaline Zen Pearl I, um, I do have pictures of this one she had it in bloom talk about uh, breaking a sweat now it was cold earlier <laughs> This this makes you break a sweat. This is a uh, this is warming up stuff here. This is best exercise. <laughs> this is good exercise. Got lots of garbage for the garbage man. All right. This leaf probably is not going to make it. Yeah. But yes, she's a big girl. Big girl. Whoops, that root didn't make it. Got some good roots going on, though. And we'll get her situated and get her potted back up. Like I said, I'll put, uh, I know she had this one in bloom, so I'll put her bloom pictures up there for you. And one more big one. This one's a big one. And she doesn't have a, um, a name or anything. Uh, it is just an antelope type dendrobium. bending them. Yep, she's a big, big girl. Big dendrobium. Big dendrobium. Very nice, very nice. So there we go. I'll just leave her leaned up there against the thing. And uh, I don't want to lose the tag so it's right there, but there we go you guys and that's the whole unboxing and everything um everything's packaged beautifully anna um the uh everybody's you know just needs a good watering and pot it up and whatnot and i will definitely do that um i really appreciate you sending them to me and like i said um i can find good homes for the ones that i don't decide to keep and um you know that they'll be taken care of and um, I really, I hope you really get to feeling better, honey. I really do. Um, I know it can be tough. And, um, like I said, I, I too have, uh, been there, done that. So I, I appreciate everything that you're going through and wish there was something more I could do for you, but I will help you find these guys, you know, some homes. Like I said, probably, probably most of them will stay here anyway. But, um, so if you need anything, let me know and i thank you for all the pretties and i get to enjoy getting a pot of that so with that said i appreciate all you beautiful wonderful people stopping by and hanging out with me and bye for now till we meet again y'all